my name is Stephanie Watson. I work at Highgrange School. Um, I am head of care and a child protection officer. Can you just tell me a little bit about why you decided you wanted to be involved in this project as a school? Yeah, we're a brand new school. We started September 2011 and because of that, staff have come from all different schools. Everybody had their own idea and as head of care, I had to pull them together. So we've looked at, oh, that seems a good idea, that seems a good idea. And also what I brought with me, because I've had years of experience um, and, and I wanted to get the best for the young people. When I heard about this project, I thought, that's perfect. Because people who think, oh no, we did it that way at that school and it was good, may see actually there's another way. So I applied to get involved so we can see what life is like for young children here so we can get it right, right from the start. Okay, my name's Gavin Spicer. I'm Head of Education at High Grain School. I've been at the school from the start, which is just over 15 months now. I'm Kelly. I work on one of the residential houses as a support worker. Um, I've worked, I'm quite new actually, so I've been there now since January, um, and I key work one of the young girls. My name here. is Debbie Hancox and I work at Highgrange School and I work in one of the residential um, houses there which is Ash Lodge and I'm a house manager there and the students that are there and children are students and children with autism, ADHD and learning disabilities. We've got eight people on the team and we'll, obviously we'll have eight young people to, to work with the team. Yeah, just gave me a leaflet so I just had a, a read through that um, and it was just telling me about um, visits and getting children's opinions and sort of reviewing the outcomes of things that we're doing here, see if that we're, we're meeting outcomes that we say we are and just getting a more realistic view rather than just um, what we're assuming to be achieved. Yeah, the impact I've got from this one is very, very child-centred, very child-orientated and outcomes will be important and how we get to achieve those outcomes will be very, very important. Um, I like the framework, how it's set out. And that's really, really impressed me um, and how it's all about us actually looking and observing the students um, and really having a look at the background and why we're we doing the review in the first place, which is always important um, in terms of getting the objectives of why we're doing it then successfully trying to get the outcomes that we all desire, which is certainly at this school is to try and make the outcome better for our young people that come here. I found the training this morning really good, especially the role play that we all did with the staff and talking about our lives and what we like and all our dislikes but then moving on to the students and children to work with and how we're going to be looking at life from their point of view. My idea of what we were going to do was completely wrong <laughs> to begin with because it was speaking amongst ourselves, the team that was put together, it was focused mainly on sort of house visits and things like that um, and maybe going in, like you say, with a clipboard and asking questions and it's completely not that at all. It's more of just um, observing the children in their natural environment on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be at home, in school or on the residential houses and just getting a, a general idea of things that we could make as an improvement. Because we're a new school, uh, you, new students are coming at us fast and furious and I had bank holiday Monday off which was a big mistake because I'd have to catch up. So it's doing all the other things, booking in new students, we've got new starters, interviewing staff next week and I'm trying to get a team together. Uh, it's been, I'm thinking, oh, people want to do it but they can't be released because they do deal in different things so it's been quite difficult. I'd got the principal on board right away and the head of education. So he was determined he was going to come. Come what may, he was coming. I said, well, I can backfill vacancies. So we've had to do a lot of moving stuff around to get it to get to this stage. Um, and I'm so glad we did. Uh, and I'm thinking, when they, when they came in, I'm thinking, I hope they'll be okay. And I kept saying, it will be okay. It's not too heavy. It's in a good way. And the vibes I'm picking up is that they've all enjoyed the morning. <laughs>